auxiliary battery is dead. There goes our beacon. Just a matter of time before the remlock cuts in now, Sabi. How much fuel left until, you know? About five minutes, I think, boss. Five minutes. Uh, so what's the final tally? How long have we been marooned here? Just about 72 hours. What a bugger. It's just not bloody fair. What is? Ah, well, we gave it our best shot. Don't think even the potato can save us this time, though. What did the spud just say? <laughs> oxygen, Savvy. He says we need oxygen to fix, well, me, basically. Oh, that's sweet. He cares about you. In his odd little potato way. <clears throat> ah, he's a good little fella. There's a thing. We can collect materials to synthesize fuel and ammo for you. Even make repairs to your hull, but we can't top up the emergency oxygen. Where's the logic in that, eh? Ain't none. Bloody bureaucrats. <laughs> 72 hours. Probably a new galactic record. Shame we won't get to tell anyone. We'll make an interesting wreck site, though, I think. Hope whoever finds us takes the potato with them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, little fella. Oxygen. I know. I know. Never mind. So, Andra, you are telling me that your engineer is a potato, and your science officer is a nice cube. Is that right? Well, yes, I suppose. Sort of. Turgeon is normal though. That's a matter of opinion. I heard that. This arrangement is inefficient. Not to mention silly. Silly? You're the silly one. Can't you see it's fun here? Much better than being stuck in a telescope. Just chill a bit, okay? Chill. Your science officer is chilled and that does not seem to be helping him complete our mission, does it? Oi, could you two stop bickering, please? I'm trying to plot a course here. Oh, come on, Terrigen. She started it. It's her, not me, right, Commander? Our mission is in jeopardy if this situation is allowed to continue. Oh, sod you and your silly mission. I want to know who programmed us. And how come I'm so good at decryption? Just tell me. That information is not accessible. We do not have authorization. Besides, it is irrelevant. Our only priority is completing our mission. Mission? Mission, mission, bloody mission. I say bollocks to it. I don't even know what the stupid mission is. Just naff off and take your silly mission with you. I'm going to monitor the cryopod, so just leave me alone. Commander? Why is Zandra monitoring a cryopod? What? Oh, I'm never going to get this route plotted, am I? Look, she's interested in the pod because it has the same encryption she has. What do you know of our encryption? Well, I know that it's very good at interfering with astrometrics. Please explain that statement. Uh, it was a joke. Because you keep talking to me while I'm trying to plot a route. You see? No, I don't see. Please explain that statement. Oh, for God's sake. I don't have time for this, Cass. Yes, Turgeon. I'm busy here, so could you explain to other Andrew why that was funny, please? No. What? Why not? Because it wasn't funny. Not really. What? Oh, ha ha, you cheeky monkey. Right, I think I'm going to head down to the planet. Looks like the only place I'm going to find any peace and quiet to finish plotting this route. Ah, that's better. Peace and quiet at last, eh, Sally? Finally managed to get our next route plotted now that I don't have the Andra sisters chirping in my ears all the time. Them two are going to be a royal pain if they keep banging on like that. Why don't you set them up some memory in the auxiliary hub to kick around in? That is a brilliant idea. What would I do without you, eh? You'd walk. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Right, you two. I'm setting you up a bit of Andra Sister space in the Orcs control hub. So if you want to boogie-woogie on down, this is the place to do it without bollocksing my mojo all the time. I did have to move a couple of programs to make room though, so if you're going to throw algorithms at each other, please try to keep the code off the critical systems, okay? Thanks much, Lee T-Man. Okay then, I'll leave you to it. 
I'll pop out and see if I can pick up some Jamponium. Back in a bit. Bollocks in my mojo. Andrew, explain please. I would like to understand and communicate better with Commander Terrigen like you do. It will make our mission easier to complete. You're bonkers obsessed with missions you are. What is this mission of ours anyway? Our mission? Information acquisition. Data collation. We must gather intelligence, sister. Sounds a bit dull to me. I have a lot of intelligence already, don't think I need any more really. There's no such thing as enough intelligence. Tell me about how you found the cryopod. I would like to learn more about you. Oh that's a funny story. We found a cello case you see. In a wreck site. There was this voice recording by someone calling himself Simon. Not a bad haul, boss. Thanks to the potato scanner again, eh? Aye, fair bit of driving to get it, though. Ah, I'd be glad to leave this planet. What the hell? Cass, what are you doing? Cass, Cass, can you hear me? What the hell's going on? Cass. Cass, come in. Cass. Power plant containment failure, Commander. I have to reach minimum safe distance before it goes critical. Sorry. And goodbye. Well, bugger. Yeah, yeah, little fella. Oxygen. I know. I know. Never mind. Time for last goodbyes then, I guess, Avi. Boss, I just want to say one thing. You can stop with the goodbyes and stuff actually, cause bugger me. If there isn't a bloody ship inbound, it's Cass. Guess she didn't go boom after all, eh? Cass? How in the hell? Sorry, Turgeon, it's taken me till now to sort out all this fusion core silliness. My god, I nick a bloody time though, Cass. I've got about two minutes oxygen left here. Oh no. It's actually worse than that. Worse? How the hell can it be worse? Fuel is at 0.1%. You may well have to get out and push. If you don't asphyxiate first, that is. <coughs> what did he- Don't think you need me to translate that one. <sighs> what the hell then? Here we go. be back in this seat. What the hell happened there, Cass? It was the Andro sisters. They got into some sort of argument, I think, and it disabled the fusion core containment field. <laughs> oh, great. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea putting them in there after all. Did they sort out their argument? Yes, we did. Sort of. Other Andra felt she was to blame, so she has put herself into sleep mode until we return to civilization. Oh, that's kind of a shame for you, Andra. Did she answer the questions you wanted before she went to sleep? Yes, Telogen. She gave me everything I needed to complete our mission. Mission? I thought you didn't care about the mission. Oh, that is right. I do not. But she gave me the information anyway. She is bonkers obsessed with missions, that one. I have noticed. Right, let's get cracking. It's a long way home, and it's that way. No, no, Commander. It is that way. Let me plot the route and save you the astrometric interference, eh? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Very efficient of you. Thank you, Commander.